Hi, this is Ilka from CDLC. What I'd like to talk to you today about is control vocabulary. Um, we have uh, created several types of control vocabularies in um, New York Heritage. We have five um, vocabulary lists. Um, they belong to the physical format, type, language, format of digital, and Library Council where we don't want you adding or deleting items from those lists that we've created. However, then we have um, two fields. One is the subject Library of Congress subject heading. One is subject TGM. Um, we allow you to add new terms to both of these lists as long as these come from the Library of Congress. We also have up to, I think, five more fields. Um, two of them definitely your collection ID and your digital collection metadata field, which are created from metadata that you have added to New York Heritage. One of the issues uh, people have asked me about is how come some of the control vocabulary terms that they have added in the project client are not in their control vocabulary list. The reason for this is that when you go up to prove an item in the Content DM Administration uh, website, uh, under the tab, um, item tab, under approve items, there's two approval cues. One is called the full approval queue actions. And you'll notice right here that records with unauthorized terms, that's control vocabulary terms, um, are approved but not added to the control vocabulary list. So if you're using that a full approval queue action, none of your new control vocabulary terms will be added to your control vocabulary list. You must use the detailed approve queue action section where first you're allowed to um, add your new vocabulary uh, terms, your control vocabulary terms. Just make sure that you are not adding new terms to those five fields that I mentioned, physical format, type, language, format of digital, and library council. And then once you've added these new terms, you can go down and approve um, your item. Now, in the admin site, if you're not working in the project client and you want to add a term or do any editing in your control vocabularies, you must go under the collection tab and then let me, you need to choose your institution. In this case, I think I'm gonna to go to Schenectady County Historical Society, click on change. I'm gonna go in to field properties. Now, let me first tell you, please be careful in here. Do not hit delete over in this section. If you do, please call CDLC staff so that we can have your collection reloaded up, okay? You can tell right here under vocab, this is what's telling you which fields um, you are, you have control vocabularies in as you go down through here. Okay. And in this particular, let me just take one of these fields. Let me take one that you are creating the digital collection. To look at your control vocabulary here, you're going to click on edit. And in the edit field, you're going to click on administration, minister control vocabulary. And at the bottom, you can see where it says browse. This allows you to see all of the control vocabulary terms you have for that metadata field. The verify down here shows you if there are any terms um, in your metadata for this field that do not correspond to that control vocabulary list, which I think in this case will be empty for this one, okay? So let's go back to fields again, 
and digital collection, administer control vocabulary, and here you have this again. Browse shows you your control vocabulary list. Verify shows you what is in your metadata that does not match your control vocabulary list. The other two areas here that we have is this is where you can add a term to that particular control vocabulary list. That would be for your digital collection. This is where you can delete a term. So let's go and just try one of these out. I'm going to go back to fields and I'm going to go to uh, collection ID. I'm going to edit, administer control vocabulary. I'm going to go down and look at this vocabulary field. And right here, I can see that Wayne Tucker postcard collection should not be in this metadata field. This is the digital collection. So I'm going to copy that, go back into this area, and I'm going to take that term out of this list and delete. If I go back to browse now, there's my control vocabulary list. OK. And if I go down to verify, there's the one term still in my metadata that should not be. This point, I can copy this term, go into items, go into edit, go into selected fields and put that in there. The field we were in was collection ID. I want the exact phrase and I'm going to do search. And these are all the items that have that term, that phrase actually, in my collection ID instead of in my digital collection. Okay, so I would have to um, bring these down to my project client. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do and, um, and replace them. Uh, another way you can do this is do find and replace. Uh, however, in these cases, you may want to look at one of these just to see what has happened. So let's see what we have. Um, right, Wayne Tucker collection, and it looks like it's only been in, done in collection ID. So let's go back. Let's look at another one in here. And again, collection ID there and the digital collection is fine and so we could go through and check all these if we find that it's very simple that we just have to replace the collection name that was put into the collection id field we could do find and replace if we wanted to those are the two different things that you can do but i just wanted to show you the the step for doing this if you have any questions, contact uh, CDLC staff and um, we can go over them with you. Thank you.